Welcome to Dorset. Today we're at Pulpit Rock for Sunset. Great to see you all again. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're back at Portland and we're here for sunset and we're shooting pulpit rock. The rock structure itself is actually carved out by the sea over millions of years, but uh, the rock that leans against it, which gives it the name pulpit rock, that's actually been placed there by the uh, quarry workers that used to work this area many, many years ago. Um, so it's a, a kind of a cross between a, a natural structure and a man-made structure, but it really does look, you know, very, very special. Our plan tonight is we're shooting side lit and we're hoping that the uh, light is going to come in and illuminate all of these uh, rock shelves here and uh, the rock, the pulpit rock itself. Whether it happens or not is uh, another matter. It's very, very grey out here at the moment, but the cloud is moving along and the hope is that it's going to lift. There's a lot of high level cloud here today and uh, if that cloud bank does clear, that's going to light up and it should look absolutely stunning. So I really can't wait for sunset uh, and hopefully we're going to get some nice shots along the way. Uh, the sun's still a little bit too far around at the moment to uh, really capitalise on it and get some shots. But um, when it does come through, uh, we'll see if we can nail something. But um, it is still looking a little bit bleak out there at the moment. But I'm quite confident that it is going to lift and it should look quite good. But uh, you just never know. That's, <laughs> that's half the fun and why we keep chasing. You might recognise this area if you've watched my videos at all uh, from Portland Bill Lighthouse. We're literally just the other side uh, from the lighthouse itself. Uh, and um, Pulpit Rock, it's not as well photographed as the uh, lighthouse itself, but for me, it's a really, really strong subject and I really, really like it. Um, it is popular, people do shoot it, but uh, it's just not as strong as the lighthouse. I think everyone gets here, sees the lighthouse and of course goes for that. But uh, Portland itself, fantastic place so full of uh, craggy rocks and uh, you know seascape heaven really it's absolutely immense for it so um, I'm sure you'll probably see a few more videos from this place that's for sure there's already a little bit of light just coming through every now and then and uh, the clouds have uh, taken on a little bit of color as well so it's going to be quite an interesting shoot as I say at the moment this cloud bank is really really causing us a bit of problem it's not giving us the desired light to shoot I mean of course we can take a shot and we could make something quite moody out of it and it, it would look okay, but uh, we, we don't want okay, we want epic. So we're gonna hang in, hope for this light to come in and illuminate the subject here. And uh, then, you know, if we're really, really lucky, it should look fantastic, full of gold. All these rocks glow up. They go a really beautiful yellowy orange color. So it does look fantastic when they're uh, all illuminated. One of the biggest challenges of shooting uh, Portland uh, and uh, Pulpit Rock itself is the sheer volume of people that you get here. And uh, the rock is very, very popular for climbers. Uh, people like to come along, climb up the side of uh, uh, the uh, pulpit itself and uh, onto the rock and uh, stand at the top. Uh, so you always tend to have a lot of people in shot. And um, unfortunately it is a weekend at the moment. So, uh, Chances are we might get one or two people here, but uh, we're going to try our best and we'll see what we can do. And uh, of course, if there is anyone in shot uh, at the critical moment, we should be able to remove them in post without too much difficulty. Just out to my right, we've got some nice areas of uh, blue sky appearing. So uh, it's looking good up there, but uh, just to my left, very, very bleak, really, really heavy cloud. It's almost like fog, but it has been shifting along to the left. Whether it's going to shift fast enough for that sun to clear it, I don't know, but uh, my hope is that the sun, as it's setting and it just goes below the horizon, the hope is it will cast its light up onto this high level cloud and it might well go. So we've got two shots planned. We may not get lucky with the light on the rocks, but hopefully if that doesn't happen, we'll get lucky with the sunset itself. And it's possible we may switch position and we may shoot from the other side of the rock uh, as we've got a better, better position for the uh, sunset itself. But uh, we're just going to wait it out for a little while, see what's happening, gauge the conditions and uh, we'll make a move if appropriate as and when we need to. 
This particular shot lends itself really, really well to both portrait and landscape orientation. Uh, with the portrait, you get this beautiful foreground with all the crags uh, in the rocks and uh, where it's recently broken off. You've got some lovely areas that are still really, really golden and haven't sort of dulled down with uh, the sea yet. So they go really, really gold. So it's very, very nice. Uh, but the landscape shot, that enables you to utilize all of the rock face behind and uh, get that into scene. So it's really, really good because it colors up and goes nice and gold. So uh, we're probably gonna try both on this particular one. Because we're side lit, we're on a polarizer again and we're using a case 0.75 uh, grad at the moment just to take uh, the brightness out on the sky area. But uh, as the uh, light changes, obviously we might change on our filter, but uh, that's our current setup at the moment. Gonna be shooting at F11, uh, ISO 50, and our exposure time obviously depending on what the light's doing. We're on the Canon 1535 at the moment, and that gives us a really, really, you know, good coverage of the scene. So uh, it's probably our best shot here. Uh, we've got quite a hazy day and uh, my choice to come here is based around that because um, we need to be fairly close to our subject to get rid of that haze. I mean, anything on a long focal length today is just not really gonna be uh, shootable, I don't think. The haze is gonna really, really ruin it. But um, I feel like we've got a good chance here of getting something and uh, yeah. It, uh, it looks reasonable at the moment, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. That, uh, that cloud bank is looking particularly menacing at the moment, and uh, I don't know whether it is going to clear in time. I really hope it does, because it will give us a stunning shot. But uh, the one positive is, is if uh, people are thinking about coming down, they might take a look out right now and decide against it, in which case, uh, you know, the place is more to ourselves, so that suits me again. We're about 25 minutes away from sunset now and uh, it's looking pretty grim. Um, the cloud cover really is quite thick, just where the sun's gonna set, unfortunately. Whereas uh, everything just the other side of it is beautiful high level and blue sky. Um, like I say, our only hope is, is that the light itself is gonna come up and uh, just as the sun sets and uh, the, uh, the axis of the, of the sun goes behind the horizon, and it will catch on this light. So there is still a possibility, but uh, I hate to say it's looking quite grim, but uh, we're all about uh, perseverance here. So we're gonna hang on in there and see if we can get something. It could still happen. I mean, if nothing else, we're in a fantastic location. It's gorgeous down here at Portland. I absolutely adore shooting here. So uh, it's never a bad thing to be out doing landscape photography in a great location. Even if the weather doesn't go your way, it's just nice being there. Well, we've actually got a few uh, peachy tones coming up on the sky now. Um, it's not amazing, but uh, it's better than I thought it was going to be. So uh, not looking too bad at the moment. Unfortunately, there's still loads of people climbing all over the rocks, so it makes life a little bit difficult to shoot it. But uh, we're persevering. We'll see if we can get something. I think we've probably nailed a, a shot on here. So uh, hopefully should be able to show you something at the end of it all. Well, it's been an incredibly frustrating session at the moment. I've had uh, people next to me talking, so I've been unable to vlog. Um, we've had people climbing all over the rock, but uh, ultimately the sky's not been too bad. As you can see behind me, there's a fair bit of colour there. It looks pretty reasonable, so uh, I'm confident that we've got a reasonable image out of it. So uh, just goes to show, hang in there when all else fails. It's uh, not the end of the world. Hopefully we've managed to rescue it and we've got a couple of shots. Uh, I'll stick them up, let me know what you think. Well, it's ended up being a not too bad a session here at Pulpit Rock, despite all the uh, all the things we've had to overcome. People stood next to us talking on the vlog, people climbing all over the rock. It's just such a busy place and uh, it's incredibly frustrating. Well, I really do appreciate you tuning in. Thanks ever so much to everyone who has. And uh, if you do get a moment and you've enjoyed it today, please do hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, I'll see you next time. Even now, Late at night, look at that, you've got someone on top of pulpit rock. You just couldn't make it up, could you? Unbelievable. <laughs>